Hey, what is going on everybody? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic start of the 2019 year. In today's video, I just wanted to make a very, very quick lesson on why sometimes we have to use a weak self or an unknown self inside of our closure blocks. And so the way I'm going to demonstrate this is to use this very, very simple application right over here. So let me just run this right now. And what you'll see is at the very beginning, we're going to show this black screen and view controller right over here, view controller. And we have the little button on the top right that shows our red controller down here. So nothing too fancy going on. We're just setting up a couple of buttons and then showing the red controller here. And so let me just click on show red and here we go. We have our awesome red table view controller. Now the whole point of this very, very simple demo here is to show you that whenever I hit this back button right here, we're going to correctly deinitialize the red controller. And let me just click on that. And you can see on the bottom right here, the OS is now reclaiming the memory for our red controller, which means that we currently do not have any type of retain cycle or any memory leak. Okay, so that's the point of this rather silly demo here. And what I would like to do now is to move on to introducing a routine cycle by using a closure on the notification center. So what exactly do I mean? Well, let me show you what I'm talking about by going into the view did load and right below the table view of red background color. Let's see, I'm going to type something out over here. So notification center retain cycle with closure. I'm going to do that right here. And you can see down below, I have this function that's called show alert. Creates a alert controller, has a couple of things inside of it and just presents it. So again, a really silly function right here. I'm going to call this within my closure that I'll introduce right now. So the actual code is rather simple. I'm going to attach an observer onto the notification center via this call here. So you'll be asked to fill in this guy with the notification name. So you know some notification name and the, the object you can say nil, the queue you can just use main like so. Now, whenever you type in this code, it's going to tell you to fix this notification by clicking on that and produce the actual type of notification name and then the raw value of the string, okay? So make sure you fix that. And for the closure right here, just hit the enter. You'll get the notification to show up just like so. Now, this little bit of code is used pretty commonly within iOS applications. And the problem with this code is, uh, let's say whenever we actually get a notified of this particular notification inside of our app, let's say that inside of the closure, we respond by calling this show alert function right below. Okay, now I'm going to run this application again. And for those of you guys that are unaware, there is already a retain cycle that we're introducing by using the self and let's confirm that the retain cycle is actually there by clicking on show red and hitting, hitting the back button just like so to pop our red controller off. And you can see that in the bottom console area, we're, we're not really seeing this deinitializer print statement of OS reclaiming memory. So that's how we can confirm that there's a memory leak. We should be seeing that down below. And now you might be asking, well, what is causing our memory leak? Well, whenever you use the self like this inside of this closure here, the notification center is actually capturing self as a strong reference inside of notification center. And what that means is when you're trying to deallocate the memory for this red controller right here, uh, it means that notification center has a reference to it, so it's not able to uh, correctly deallocate that space, all right? So notification has a reference to red controller through this self variable here. And the way to actually fix this is to go ahead and say weak and self 
right in front of the variables for your closure. So for example, we have no notification here and I'll try to run the code again. Whenever you introduce self as weak like this, you have to make sure to use a question mark for the optional chaining like that. And the reason why that is, is because a weak self is now an optional variable that will later on be nilled out. So don't be too concerned about what that means, but basically you need the question mark there. You hit the show red now, and then you hit the back. You'll see that now the retain cycle is no longer there, and the OS is able to correctly reclaim the memory that was allocated to the red controller itself. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, another way to get around this problem here is to use something called an unown, so un own self like that and uh, you can remove this question mark like so now the difference between the weak and the unknown is pretty difficult to explain but if you're able to guarantee that this self guy will never be nil then you can use the unknown self all right so show red and hit the back again you'll see that the unknown is also able to fix the memory problem that we saw before with the retain cycle. You still see this being printed out. So everything looks good up to this point of the lesson. All right, so that's kind of what I wanted to show you in today's video. And I guess before I end today's lesson, maybe I'll talk about something else as well. And uh, let me just comment out this code and uh, let me run it again. I want to make sure I see this inside of the console and I'll show you how to uh, how to show your retain cycle by using a local variable instead. So show red and back, you see that? So that looks good. So here's what happens. Sometimes when you do something like this, you can say var and you know, something like refresh table, table view, closure. You sometimes you might have some kind of closure variable like this that takes in some data, maybe some error and let's see. And this is your closure here. And if you have this closure, you can declare it as refresh table view closure and set it equal to some kind of closure. Make sure to declare the variables data and error like so in like that. All right, so everything looks good here. And if you try to call self show alert, it's very similar to what we did over here. And you'll see that this also creates that retain cycle. So show red, hit the back. You'll see that our print statement is not being printed out. That means we can't reclaim the memory for red controller. So in this specific use case, you can also say weak self and that will help you break the retain cycle. So again, very similar to the notification center code down below. We're going to hit show red and hit back again. You'll see this being printed out. So that's pretty good. And uh, one last thing that you might be concerned about is sometimes you'll have this service class that helps you make API calls. And I guess I'll try to define this as a singleton. So shared equals a uh, service. So let me try to type this out here. This guy will be a static uh, class variable and you'll have some kind of function. So function of fetch data and you'll have a completion block here and the completion block will be something like this and then you'll you know close it off and perhaps this will be some kind of error variable and uh, inside of your function here you probably want to call completion like that and just build your project this should be good i'm going to pass in a nil because the completion block expects you to complete with some kind of variable. So that's what your service class will, you know, look like maybe, <laughs> but eventually inside of your other classes, for example, your red controller, you might want to call that service singleton. So shared dot fetch data. You have this closure, hit enter. You have the potential error, you know, check the error, I guess, something like that, return. And so down here, you can call self show alert as well. And so what I'm going to do, you know, this is just a warning. 
I'm going to try to see if we have a routine cycle using this code right here. So you'll be a little bit surprised as to what's going to happen. We're going to hit show red. We're going to see that we are showing this alert message because this bit of code is being called immediately right here. So completion block. So instead of doing this, why don't I make this a little bit more realistic? So URL session, shared and data task. And uh, we will do something like this right here. So this is usually what happens, right? So guard let URL equals some kind of URL string and, you know, HBS, www.google.com, something like that. Here is our URL, I guess, so something like that. Else return, and that looks good. Hit that, that, and that. And over here, you can just call completion with something like nil. All right, so this isn't exactly supposed to make a whole lot of sense, but I just wanted to run this again, and maybe we'll print the error down here. I feel like this should run. I'm not going to run the URL session. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show the red and try to confirm what's happening over here. And you might assume that using the self like this inside of this closure will produce a routine cycle, right? So you go back and uh, that's actually what it does. You see self over here will also give you your routine cycle. And what you want to do is to make sure that you break it and say weak self like that. And over here, you are going to want to use the question mark to access your weak self variable. And now what I can do is I can run this code again and hit the show red, hit the back just like that. And now you will freely kind of break your retain cycle and get the uh, very important memory that you use to allocate for red controller. Alrighty, everybody, that's going to wrap it up for today's lesson. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the like button down below. If you want to support what I do, make sure to check out the couple of courses down in the description below. That's going to be it for me today. Keep on coding, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.